guys so I hope you're all doing great it has been forever ever ever since I've done a sit down video and I've really missed it uh, I swear I you guys know if you follow me on social media I've been traveling a lot uh, I went on vacation I've also been traveling for work I've been this right now is like my festival season so I have like work on the weekends tomorrow we have a festival and then I leave for Miami the day after for work so it's just that kind of crazy time in my life and I feel like I always am sitting here giving you guys excuses of like why I've been gone and all this stuff and it's a broken record so I do apologize but I wanted to film this because I had a little bit of time so I am planning on doing a Europe haul very soon and I wanted to do it today but I don't know if I have enough time because I do have plans in about an hour and I don't want to rush through that one this one I'm just gonna be combining my Sephora VIB sale haul which I considered to be pretty uh, on the light side this time around uh, but I still ended up getting a few goodies it's just hard to pass up that 15% off coupon uh, however I was in I was in Europe and like kind of trying to decide what I wanted to get and I just kind of did like a rush order rush order one night and was like all right that's what I got but I'm happy with everything that I got and then I got a few things in um, Spain and also in London and did some duty-free shopping so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with Sephora I wasn't able to do any in-store purchases obviously since I was in Spain or Europe the whole time um, but if you do follow me on Instagram I know it's a little bit confusing because I have two Instagrams but I have like my personal Instagram where I post like everything and that's where like I originally had like shared for my like YouTube so I don't care if you guys follow me on that one it's not like a secret or anything uh, but I also have a person or, or I also have a like dedicated like makeup beauty Instagram so that is where I share more like outfit things beauty stuff recommendations and I do insta stories on there occasionally I'm so I don't know what I'm doing with insta stories and snapchat I do have a snapchat as well um, but a lot of people from work follow me on there and same with my like personal Instagram so I'm trying to consolidate everything to everything you know related to like my creative outlet which is my youtube channel on makeup by Pamela Ira if that makes sense hopefully you guys understand feel free to follow me on both feel free to follow me on neither totally up to you guys um, but this is what I ordered from Sephora. Uh, I'll just run through it quickly. I actually use this today already. Sorry, I just meant to say I'm obsessed with these earrings. They're Misa Los Angeles. I will link them down below and I got them from Shop Up. Uh, but anyway, so I got this lash curler that I've been wanting for a really long time from Surratt Beauty and I'm so excited about it. It is so cute. I actually did already use it today, but I had to keep the packaging because I was like, this is like literally the most like fancy packaging ever for an eyelash curler uh, but it is the Releve eyelash curler which reminds me of ballet and it is like a matte black so like the sexiest eyelash curler ever um it kind of reminded me if you guys remember Chanel used to have one that was like my favorite eyelash curler I don't know why they discontinued it um but then it comes with like an extra little thingy in here yeah in case you need to like replace your uh, little eyelash gummy. I never know how often you need to do that. If you guys know, let me know. Um, so this is going to be replacing my Shu Uerma, one that I really like. And actually, when we were in London at Liberty, um, where I purchased one thing, I'll show you guys in a second, uh, They talk, my mom bought this because they had a Surat counter, and they said that the people who developed the um, Shu Uerma eyelash curler developed this one and they like improved on it so that's why it's so good it's an allure best of beauty allure award winner for eyelash curlers so good getting 15% off on that because no one just gives you that money it's like $35 so you got 15% off of that I stocked up on two of my like must-haves can't live without this is the Dior triple volume plumping lash primer I love this it's the white primer I use it every single day I cannot do mascara without this one it's the best one I've tried so many different uh, eyelash primers from different brands and this just beats them all by far so if you haven't tried the Dior one definitely give it a shot and I also got a new Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir mascara this is probably my fourth or fifth it's just an amazing mascara and I think it's my favorite I also really enjoy Chanel volume which I also re I got during duty-free 
um, at one of the airports and I also really like the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. I'm just waiting to use that one up and then I'll use this one. I, I don't know why I bought the Lay Volume because I was just like in the heat of the moment was like right, I'm gonna get this it's on sale or whatever at because we had 20% off at Duty Free. I also stopped up on another one of my must-haves. It's the Amika Nourishing Hair Mask. I love this. I've talked about this on my channel before. It is my go-to hair mask. It leaves hair feeling so soft and silky and smooth, and it smells divine. If you're in the market for a new hair mask, definitely check this out. I believe it uh, doesn't have parabens. It's like a pretty natural uh, product as well, so that's a good thing about that. Yeah, so it's free of parabens, sulfates, and artificial colors. I love it. If you're looking for a good hair mask, then definitely check that one out. And the last two things I got are two fragrance things that I love. Uh, this is the uh, large size of the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. I like don't even want to unwrap it, but it's so beautiful. Uh, it is the larger size, and oh my god, I'm so happy I got that. Uh, I recently ran out of the peony and blush suede in the small size. I talked about that in, I believe it was either my January favorites, February favorites, something of the sort. I purchased that uh, with like some Christmas money, I remember. And then I took the plunge on the large size during the 15% off sale. And last but not least, I got one of the Tom Ford all over body sprays. This is the Fleur de Portofino. Uh, I had heard Makeup by Tiffany D talk about this in the Soleil Blanc which I like that scent it's just not my favorite uh, but I did actually smell this when I was in Madrid the Florida de Port Portofino and I was about to get it at the department store and I was like you know what I'm gonna order it during the Sephora sale so I was sneaky and did that and made sure this is the one I wanted and the packaging is just really cool uh, it's a very cool concept so if you want to try Tom Ford fragrances at a very discounted price definitely go for the all over body sprays. They're still, I believe $70, $65, something of the sort, but the 15% off helped obviously, and it smells so good. Mm. Oh my God, it smells so good, like flowers and fresh garden. I don't know, it's amazing. So yeah guys, so that is what I got during the Sephora VIB sale. I consider that pretty tame. If you saw my last Sephora VIB sale during December, I bought out the entire store, so this is much better. I'll show you guys what I got at the airport while I shopped duty free, and I believe that's it, yeah. Or, oh no, I got this at Shaw Tilbury and that at Liberty. So, uh, my friend Erin, who I was with at the beginning part of my trip in Spain, she had um, been using this and she let me try a little bit and I was obsessed with it. So, it is the uh, Guerlain Baby Glow. It is the Light Revealing Sheer Makeup Anti-Fatigue Effect Baby Glow. Oh my god, you guys. This is so good good like I would say it kind of reminds me of the it cosmetic CC cream except it has some sort of like magic in it because it completely just clears your complexion it makes your complexion look so beautiful and it just provides a really beautiful natural looking glow and I think it's just the perfect coverage for every day it has an SPF of 25 which is really good so um, this is number two in Claire slash light highly recommend this if you're trying to get a new base for every day it is really pretty I'm not wearing it today I am wearing the Sephora spray foundation but this uh, is really really good and I've been using this every day for work and I use this every single day as my base for my trip during the day so love that I've been using a lot is and I used do have it on today is this YSL bronzer Le Saharien sun-kissed blur perfecter powder so it's like a cream bronzer that turns into a powder once you apply it and I love this I would say I like it a lot more than the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, which is a kind of a similar product. You are getting a lot less product in this, but this is a lot less orange. And not that the Chanel one is really orange, but this one is more of a like healthy glow as opposed to like an orange bronze, if that makes sense. So love that so much. I also got that during a duty free spree and I got two little Chanel things. This is one I've had on my list for forever. It is the Chanel matte uh, Rouge Allure Ink in 140 Amaru. 
Uh, I believe this is a TT Sander recommendation. I'm sure you guys do the same thing as me. I have like an ongoing list on my phone of products that I either see swatched in videos or on Instagram and I'm like, oh, I wanna try that or swatch it whenever I'm like near a counter or something like that. And this Chanel was one of them and I tried it, I swatched it and I was like, this is beautiful, it's perfect, it's really nice and wearable. And compare it to like the Marc Jacobs um, lip mattes that I love really a lot. Where are they? I thought I brought one, maybe I didn't. The formula is really similar to these Marc Jacobs ones. I love the Marc Jacobs ones, but um, the Chanel one is really nice and there's a beautiful color for every day. So 140 Amaru. FYI, I will link everything down below and list all of the names in case you guys wanna check out these products as well. And I got a new Chanel volume. I just, I don't know why I was just like in the mood to buy this. And I think someone had recently commented on my Instagram and said, um, have you tried this? And I was like, yeah, I used to use it like just this, but I kind of forgot about it. But I kind of want to compare it to the uh, Velvet Noir Mascara from uh, Marc Jacobs and see how it compares. I find that they're kind of comparable, what I remember. I'll still be using this with my Dior base, so. Last thing I got during Duty Free was this by Terry Bomb de Rose. It is a product that I've been dying to try for years and I just never have tried it and I got it on sale. Um, it was like on a special when I got, I, this is the only thing I bought at Heathrow when we were flying back home from London to Atlanta and it is so good. It is like the Dior uh, Creme de Rose lip balm on steroids. It's like more moisturizing, smells more like roses, and I feel like you're getting more product. It is pricier though, so just keep that in mind. It's really pretty. I love the packaging of it, and it just smells so good, so. I don't know, sometimes you just wanna try cult products. Like if you're a beauty lover, like how I am, and you see something and it grabs your attention, you're like, I've been wanting to try that forever, so. I bought it. Went to the Charlotte Tilbury store when I was in London and I got a few things. I'm actually wearing this on my eyes today and it is the Color Chameleon in Bronze, Bronze Garnet. So it's this uh, like eyeshadow stick that is really beautiful, gorgeous. Um, it's more of like a coppery bronze. I really like it. I don't have anything uh, like this color because I was gonna go for like just like the regular bronze that I always have and like every single I recently get Burberry pale copper and I've been I use this like almost just exclusively on my trip and this one is really really pretty too I'll link this down below I'm planning a favorites but since I have so much that I'm using right now I want to do a favorites probably in a couple of weeks so I can have time to try everything that I bought out and um, be able to give you guys like solid recommendations but this is something i've been using like every day and i also got this um, matte revolution lipstick this is my favorite formula from charlotte tilbury and a favorite formula overall of any lipstick and this one is in why don't they have a name amazing grace so love her pack jean and that is it oh and I ha i'm wearing it right now so it's so beautiful it's like a berry uh I would say it's like a wearable berry shade. I think I could wear this to work and it'd be fine. More of like a wearable uh, berry shade that I really like. The last thing that I'm gonna talk to you guys about beauty-wise is this uh, Dr. Sabah Serum Repair Hyaluronic Acid Skin Moisturizing Revitalizing Serum. Um, it's a hyaluronic acid serum. I don't have one and this is a brand that is like blowing up. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but like apparently Cindy Crawford uses it. Like it's all over uh, that magazine, New Beauty or New Look, whatever that magazine is that just talks about beauty and cosmetic procedures and that type of stuff. Apparently it's amazing. And my mom and I uh, had talked about it because she said, let's, I wanna find this brand. Cause Cindy Crawford is like talking about uh, the eye serum or something like that. And we found it at Liberty. My mom ended up getting like two other products and also got this one. Uh, so I'm so excited. I've been using this a couple of nights now and I really like it. I just really like the serums I have right now. So I'm trying to play around with what I'm, how I'm going to like divide them up. I swear by the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Serum every single day. And I love the TLC from Drunk Elephant at night. So kind of playing around with this thing if I like it more during the day or at night. Or kind of just use um, sporadically with, with the uh, CE Ferulic from SkinCeuticals kind of. I need to figure out what my skincare routine is right now. I just couldn't turn this one down. And the price points are not 
horrible. And uh, let me know if you have tried any other Dr. Sabal products or have heard of the brand or what your opinion is and stuff like that. So that was the beauty haul guys. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me when I do my little hiatuses. I actually um, edited my first vlog today so that should be up today or tomorrow and so I'm really excited about um, sharing my Europe vlog and then I'm going to be sharing what else I bought in Europe because this is just the cherry on top of what I bought. I thought I was won the lottery and went shopping every day. Let me know if you have any particular questions about any of these products. I'd be more than happy to answer them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll talk to you another day. Bye.